Hey miners, Mining King here. Today we're going to be building a CPU mining rig. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to start doing some content on CPU mining. I know I'm mostly GPU mining oriented, but I am always looking to diversify my portfolio as you know as you would say and don't have all my eggs in one basket so I decided to venture out and try out CPU mining so let's go over some of the parts and we'll do a build here on my desk really quick and then we're gonna take this out to the garage so um, we have a 5900 X right here I actually was trying to get some 3900X's, but it was weird that I couldn't find any. I mean, I could find them, but I mean, they're more expensive than the 5900X, so why not just get the 5900X, right? So, yeah, didn't get that. Um, I did go with some cheaper RAM just to save on some money here. This is Silicon Power. I believe this is the uh, the Micro Center brand. It's uh, DDR4, it's 3200 megahertz, and it's cast latency 16, so kind of middle of the road stuff really nothing fancy um i wasn't sure about the cooling solution right because i'm gonna be doing this in my garage and i don't want um i don't want to be i know it's hot out there and i'm thinking i can get away with cpu mining out in my garage versus gpu mining as it's there's less heat right so i'm going to be using this is a noctua this is the uh, NH-U12S, um, and you guys will see it in a minute, it's a pretty chunky uh, cooler. It's the Noctua Redux series, so pretty nice cooler. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't gonna be, you know, any kind of therm thermal throttling issues and stuff like that. Now, I did spend probably a little bit more than what I need to on my motherboard, but how I look at it is if I want to upgrade one of my personal PCs here, or maybe I want to build a PC down the road in my own house, um, I would want a decent motherboard to go right with my 5900X. So I went with the Asus Strix um, B550, and it was only uh, 170 bucks. So to me, that's pretty good for a B-series board. It's probably a little on the higher side, but I think it's a good deal. Um, I really like Strix, they make good stuff, so I wanted some, some of the features in case maybe down the road I decide to use this as a personal computer, or maybe upgrade a computer in the house, so that's how I'm kind of looking at the CPU mining thing, right, is I could make a PC down the road if this doesn't pan out, right, so let's go ahead, let's get into the build. This is a uh, Asus Strix uh, B550F Gaming, this is um a really nice board actually so there it does have heat sinks over the vrms so that's really nice for overclocking and stuff like that as well as you know if you're going to use this down the road for gaming and personal uses this will be really nice right here you got heat sinks over your m.2s and it does have six sata ports i mean this thing has everything that you're going to want for a personal computer down the road so this is definitely a great board for multi-purposing you know down the road so it has lots of features on here that are really nice let's go ahead and unbox our 5900x we have this right here let's go ahead and crack her open and yes i'm using a screwdriver because i can't find my knife right now <laughs> so now those of you that don't know the 5900x does not come with a cooling solution so you'll see in the box here there is no cooler it is just the processor which is why you have to buy your own cooler heat out in my garage so i wanted something a little bit extra um, just just because you're going to be cpu mining very heavily on this so the first thing we need to do if you guys haven't built which is i'm assuming you haven't but you need to lift the retention arm up this opens up the socket this triangle right here is to indicate to you how to put in your CPU. So on your CPU, when you open it up, there is a little gold triangle right here. Try to get that on camera. Right there by my finger, okay? You only wanna to touch this by the edges because you don't wanna damage the pins, right? And I try to grab it to where I don't have to twist my hand. 
So I'm going to re-grab this real quick. And be, be sure not to push down on the pins or force this in. It should just drop right in. If you have to use force, you're definitely doing something wrong. So we're just going to place it in. And you can see right now that it's flush against the socket, right? So now we're going to close the... Uh, we're going to lock the retainer down and now what we need to do is is we can install our memory neck we got we have our two sticks of ram here now you do need to consult your motherboard um, manual because these do kind of vary depending upon the manufacturer sometimes it's the two closest ones sometimes it's every other one so per the asus manual and sometimes these other sides don't open too. These are the single locking ones. So see how these don't pop down. So we are using the second slot and the fourth slot. But so push down, wait for the clicks. Other ones opened. We're going to push down until we hear the clicks. Installed our RAM. Now we need to attach our our cooler here but first we need to take off these these two brackets right here as we don't need those for this particular cooler so I'm going to be using my iFixit toolkit here and um, I bought all of these parts from Amazon as well as the iFixit kit so I will leave a link down below for it's it is a paid affiliate link but for the 5900x the memory and the motherboard and the CPU now the power supply, it is a spare power supply I have and I will go over with you uh, when we get to the garage about the power supply. Um, I am just using a $20 PNY SSD from Amazon so um, I will leave a link down, down there for, for that as well. We will be using Hive OS. When you do take these brackets out be sure to set them aside because some coolers do require you to use these so make sure you keep these in like your motherboard box when you're done building. So let's go ahead and attach our cooler. So this is the NH12S uh, Redux. It's a pretty good size cooler as you guys can see. So we need to get to the mounting points on here. So if you are going with this cooler and you did get this kit, you will need the AMB7s. Um, they're more of the square sided ones. The other rounded ones are for Intel. You will also need the four gray spacers and the <laughs> and the four screws. These come in their own separate bag to, to signify that this is for AMD only. So let's go ahead and let's attach this. Now that we have the actual bracket installed here, the uh, these will tighten down with these screws here and they will tighten down right here on the sides just like this. So there's just two points right here now we will have to disconnect the fan so we can get access to the screw. So to get so to get access to the screw here that we'll need to, you know, bolt down to our our uh, CPU is is these are very easy. You just these are just like clipped on almost through the fins, and you just pull, and then they just they just come right off. So really easy to remove, not very difficult. So this does have pre-applied thermal paste right here. So. Just be careful once you remove this plastic that you're not, you know, getting your hands all over it and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's toss this guy on. Now it's very important too, when you're putting your coolers down, is that you want to do even pressure because you don't want the cooler to like lean one way. You want to make sure it stays very flat. That way it gets the best uh, performance. Now it's very important here that you don't over tighten this, okay? As soon as the screw stops, that is your signal that this has been tightened correctly, okay? See, it stops. I'm not like trying to force it. I just, I felt it stop. It's done. Going, we're going to do the, um, we're gonna do the push method because that's probably gonna give us the best amount of cooling for this. So you just snap it right in over the fins. Like see how these fins have a hook right here? They're, they're like kind of indented in. You just pull this back until it goes over these edges and 
there you go. She is all connected. Now we need to find the CPU fan header, which I will move this around. So typically, see so I can make sure you guys have a good angle. Typically the CPU fan header is somewhere up here. And as you can see right here, they've labeled it. It says CPU fan and then CPU opt, which is so to signify the first one's the fan. You're gonna notice the gray notch, the little notches here on the cable. We're going to face the notches towards the piece of plastic here and put it in the first slot. Now, if you want, you can, now once again, this is a mining rig, but if you want it to look nice, you can go ahead and tuck it in underneath of it so it's not really in the way or poking out. So we've pretty much done everything on the board except our, um, our boot drive, right? So I'm going to be using uh, an SSD for this. Um, I have a bunch of those two and a half inch SSDs. I will be using Hive. I'm not going to do a tutorial on Hive right now. I will leave a link because I've already done a tutorial on how to install Hive. I will leave a link up in the card for you guys if you guys are interested in watching that video. I will do a separate video for overclocking and undervolting your CPU and doing some of your um, configurations because so unlike for GPUs, CPUs must be tuned in the BIOS. So CPU mining is a little more, how can we put it, more for the advanced users, right? So keep that in mind if you're getting into CPU mining to maximize your profits to do proper undervolting and overclocking. So let me um, put the hard drive on here and let's go out to the garage and I'll tell you about the power supply and how I think that this is gonna work. All right, guys, so <laughs> I know this is really janky right now, but I just wanted to get this thing up and running. So <clears throat> as you can see, I still have these fans here. Um, the plan is, is I do plan on getting more of this, but I'm just doing this for initial testing to get familiar with everything. Um, I'm thinking about switching this fan, fan and turning it around because it's oriented to take air out and I want to bring it in. So I'll use this one and I'll pipe it down here for the air outside. And then this one over here will be to pipe it out. So in, out, uh, I might, because there's not as much heat to move with CPUs. So just to show you guys what's going on, we have the, uh, we have everything all hooked up. It's uh, zip tied up to the uh, to the rack here so you guys can see that and then right now um, I'm just I had an older flight sheet when I did some spec mining on the test bench I had so this is mining uh, Victorium I just wanted just to make sure it worked and everything it's been going for about a, uh, a day now um, so I have my monitor hooked up now you do have to overclock and undervolt in your BIOS. I will do another video um, in the near future on how to overclock your CPU mining rigs because it does. It's not like Hive where you over you can tune your cards as they sit. This actually you have to go in the BIOS before the system boot, you know, before it boots into Hive, and overclock that way. Now I know that this is just a little rack, and you see my 240 here. It's not hooked up. Um, I have a 2000 watt power supply and I plan on doing a bunch of Pico adapters, um, but I don't, um, I sent my PDU when it, when I had my rigs to be hosted and this one I got from Nerd Gears doesn't have a C19 uh, plug or C20 plug, I'm sorry, they're all C14s, so I had to buy a, I had to wait for the plug to come in. So right now we're using 120. We're just using a 250 or 450 watt uh, Corsair power supply, which is plenty enough because this we're just utilizing the CPU. I have video out because this is just a uh, 750 Ti I keep laying around, just as spare parts to get video out on stuff like this. But as you can see, we are mining. Um, so the plan is I'm going to get a bigger uh, baker's rack, you know, like I used to have the metal ones that'll stand about, you know, this tall off the ground. And I want to get about maybe five to ten of them here and then pipe the cold air from here to the bottom of the rack 
and then I'll have a box fan or something pointing up so that way all the heat goes out so that's kind of my idea I'm gonna see if I can't make it work but this is just for initial testing to get it going um, let me know down in the comments down below what kind of questions you guys have about CPU mining um, I'll be doing the how to tune your CPUs and um, for overclocking and undervolting for when you are CPU mining so that way you're not using the full wattage of the board and that way you can save a little bit on power um, so anyways guys this is the mining king giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time